I don't think death is bad as everybody think it is. Cause how, Same. How can life be beautiful if death is bad? Right. And you know, the people who make a mistake saying you only live once, you actually live every day. Yeah. You only die <laughs> once. Yeah, I'm forgetting yeah. The only person that can hurt me is a friend. You know, any, nobody can hurt you but a friend. You have to be careful of your friend more so than people that you may think is your enemy who you never had conflict with. Everybody you fight is not your enemy and everybody that helps you is not your friend. I don't live my life right all the time. But when I have something that a desire or something, I have to clean my life up. God won't bless me if I'm dirty, if I'm cheating on my wife, if I'm doing something disrespectful to my family, he won't bless me. He knows I'm a selfish piece of shit. And I've listened to these uh, tapes of this guy talking about, his name's Alan Watts. Mm -hmm. And uh, he talks about how, you know, life should be like music. Because in music, you're never rushing to get to the end. Yeah. You're just enjoying every moment of it as mm -hmm. it comes. It's about the music and, itself. And when someone gets you angry, they're your master. Yeah, yeah. see, that's yeah. why I took they a control time control your up. intelligence, that's your emotions, they're your master, you're their slave. You controlling my to a wise man, money is a... A fucking tool. Yeah. To a poor man, this money is God. Yeah. Sometimes when people appear like they're loving people and they're loving everybody else, it's because they don't like themselves. I've learned this: the person that is friends with everybody is an enemy to himself. Mm -hmm. You know. You know, some people kill themselves because they say, "Hey, I want to take me back." Subconsciously saying, "I want to go back home. I can't take this." Mm. It's just how, that's why things happen the way it is. Why would somebody that's living the greatest life in the world have all the money, have all the bitches, all the cars, nice homes, and say, oh, fuck this, boom, I can't do this. It's a good question. Mm -hmm. that's, my, that's, my, that's my dream, what he's talking about. That, that guy just killed himself and he has everything. I'm mad at this guy. This guy's a bitch in my mind. What the fuck is this problem? You know, but then because... It's deeper things in life, and you feel you haven't accomplished them. You know, you feel you have everything life told me I need to be the man, to be gratified, to be be happy, and this doesn't make me happy. It's something I can't put my fist on. And then you start to worry real fast, or I'll never find it. Instead of start looking outside of what we believe is our greatness, you know? Damn. Damn, that's super deep, that's, I like that, I like that. Yeah. How can you be a fighter if you're not afraid? Fighters have to understand the concept of dealing with fear. Fear is um fear is our friend. Fear is like fire. You know what I mean? If you um if you're afraid of it and you let it get out of control, it can destroy you and everything around you. But if you control it, it can cook food for you. It can heat you, keep you warm. Mm. It could be your friend. It can fight for you. Mm. It's powerful. Power. What was the biggest beat down you've ever had? Whether it be physically or emotionally or spiritually i lost my four-year-old daughter she accidentally killed herself by accident oh man she jumped on a treadmill she didn't know how to work it and she had hurt wow so um after that i didn't know what to do and i just didn't know what to do how'd you recover from that i have it i just know in order to um, Make her happy. I have to do good things and be positive. Yeah. We're just mourning right now because that's that's the natural thing to do. But mm -hmm. the reality, we're all going down that path in life. That we're all going to face that journey. Yeah. It's just what we do here and what we leave behind our journey is really what counts. And yeah. it's not really what I'm talking about having fame and fortune and stuff. You know, Kobe's different. He's an international star. But just um, leaving here, knowing that you were kind to people. And people could say he was a kind person. He was a good person. And you gave him the best you had. You gave life the best you had. Yeah. You didn't leave anything. You left it all on. You left it all on the concrete, you know. You yeah. didn't hold anything back. Everybody's emotional. Mm -hmm. And the reason that we're emotional is because we allow our outer life to interfere with our inner life. We let the out here get involved in here, and then our emotions go fucking whack. Mm -hmm. You know, it goes whack. And so that's why my whole objective is just to be more so distant from out there. I don't let this... And when you say out there, what is that? The world. Mm -hmm. Everybody out there, everything out there. Anything that's outside of my fucking circumference. Right. It's the world. And yeah. then it's my inner. Yeah. That's peaceful. And I got control of the peace in there. And if I allow the outer world to make this inner world unpeaceful, I've lost. I might be in prison now. I might have a charge. Now, anything can happen. Right. 
We don't know how to be kind to us. I thought being kind to myself was fucking a lot of girls and buying a bunch of cars and planes and stuff and houses. I thought that was being nice to myself. Being nice to myself was just being grateful for what I had and not wanting any more. What did I do? I lost all that shit and people stole and stuff. I didn't know what the fuck I wanted that stuff for. I was just taught that if you had that, your life would be changed. You would be happy if you had all that stuff. I didn't know happiness was in between my brain. I didn't know that. I thought happiness was things. Listen, you got to be able to um, to make a fool of yourself and not take yourself serious. Yeah. That's a big part of success, That's right, Mike? That's part of my success. Everybody thinks I'm mean, shrewd, motherfucker. I'm, I'm a fucking no, clown. No, it's like you, you, can't you, know be a, mean? you can't be afraid to be a, get embarrassed or to fail, right, Mike? No, how can you get embarrassed? We're yeah. all going to die and go somewhere. How are yeah. you going to embarrass me? Yeah. He's no better than me. This is what it is. Listen, if you think a lot of money is going to make you happy, you never had a lot of money before. So what do you value now? What's at the top for you to value? Me. My children, my whole barometer of life. Yeah, that's the money I'm not. I'm aware that a lot of people next to me watch me and may look up to me and think I'm a certain kind of guy, I'm a good guy. But they have to understand that I'm not worthy of praise. Only God is worthy of praise. It's true. And they, they, they make, they do these things. They, I, I look at YouTube and I see guys have Mike Tyson, immortal, Mike Tyson, God. And um, I'm not worthy of that. You are, Mike. Hey, stop. I know me. You can think what you want, but I know. Um, not for somebody to, worry, to praise me or anything, no. I'm always just Mike. I was well, one of those people that worship people because I had nothing. Imagine how low I had to be to worship a nothing. Somebody that's nothing, and I worship them. I mean, when you talk about love, respect becomes more powerful than love. Mm. Look how many times love has been betrayed other than respect has been betrayed. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know? That's interesting. You never, you, listen. Think about the things you did to people you love, how you hurt them. But think about the things you did with people that you respect. You never wanted to hurt them. You never wanted them to have you in a bad spot in their mind. Right. It's all about not being discouraged. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen, I've been knocked up, beat up as a kid, a younger fighter and stuff. People have been saying, I just knew never to get discouraged. I just knew it. I would get my day if I continued to try hard and believe in myself. I didn't, I didn't, if I lost, I didn't have to act like I didn't lose. I fight him again, I, I fight him like I knocked him out the first time. It's all about what you believe, you know. And I'm and when you think about me, I'm a nothing guy. I'm, I'm really nothing. It's, it's nothing. I'm an educated guy, but I, used to, I got belief in myself. And belief is more powerful than anything. Mm-hmm. Confidence applied properly with superseded genius. Yeah. When I was a little kid, you know what? And I used to be like 14, 13, I used to read about the old legendary fight. But the ones that interested me the most was the guys that got beat in the first fight they ever had or the third fight they ever had, got knocked out cold, humiliated. And they came back training and kept coming back yeah. and kept coming back and kept winning and kept winning. And they lost another fight but kept winning. Never gave up. Yeah. Never became um, discouraged. And then one day, they got a chance to fight for the title. Boom! Knocked the champion out, another champion. Boom. Boom. Imagine they really gave up and got discouraged when they got what they lost. They got That's beat, they got knocked out. And then once they became champion, they became champions for long runs. Mm-hmm. Broke their history books and record books and stuff, but they never gave up. You know wow. how easy it was to give up being knocked out, humiliated in front of people, but they stuck to it. Yeah. And those are the guys I really admired back then. Because they showed that you don't have to be perfect. You could have flaws and still do sensational things that nobody else could, you know, duplicate. Just let everybody know. Think sometime. Who are you? Be in mm. touch with who you are. Because trust me, if you don't, at this stage, get in touch, touch with who you are and get to know this person, who this is, I think it's a wasted life. Who are you? Where have you come from? Why are you here? What is your purpose? It's, it's crazy. I, I read one quote. I don't know it's an anonymous author, but he said, the first person to raise his hand in violence is the first man to run out of ideas. Absolutely. And I, mean, I never wanted to be that's, that man. That's what happens when you start cursing us because you ran out of ideas. You ran out of ideas on how to express yourself. Yes. And-